Hello, my name is Ash Blue, and over the weekend I need to create some anagrams um, for a story I was working on for my video game called A Dragon Named Cl A Dragon Named Cole Through Clever Crow Games. And as I went around and looked at various anagram generators out there, all of the anagram generators were for fixing Scrabble games. Um, so you could put in some word from Scrabble and it would degenerate it. And I needed to create anagrams that were pretty much randomized text that I could turn into a name. Um, I didn't actually necessarily want actual words. So I went through, uh, spent a couple hours, uh, looked through some anagram algorithms and some uh, code and some tweaking and was able to create this really simple anagram generator. It's pretty cool, which we'll take it for a spin here in a second. And ultimately, I did try to find something that already existed to do this, but I couldn't. There was nothing out there. So let's take a look at what it does. I want to, for this uh, little demo here, show you uh, using an anagram generator to encode the word Fenrir. And we're going to take a look at what that does. If you don't know who Fenrir is, he is actually the uh, wolf of Norse mythology, a very, very big evil wolf. <laughs> and we're going to encode his name. Um, reason you might want to do this is maybe you're creating a character um, and you want to have a wolf-like character, but you don't want to be as blunt as Fenrir since it's kind of a well-known name. For a wolf. So here we go. We're going to search text of Fenrir. We're not going to use filter text yet. We'll show you what that is in a minute. Um, the search type, we're going to choose random. You can also do alphabetical. We're going to remove spaces and we're going to do a limit. So here we go. And this actually does a dump out of all of the variations of Fenrir, as you can see here. And let's go through. We're going to find some ones we like. Nerith is one that works. That's not bad at all. We're going to click it there, and as you can see, when it gets clicked, it gets bookmarked. You can also look through here and find Firen. Firen sounds decent. Firen? Firen? Um, a bunch of different names. So we're able to scramble it, so it kind of has that interesting Norse feel to it, but also still at the same time is an anagram. So let's say here, um, looking at these, I have Fren, Firin, Nerith. Uh, you can actually go through and change the text that you're filtering and make it a little bit more stable uh, to prefix it with something. So let's say we like the FI starts. We can just do that in the filter text. And it's going to force the two letters FI to the front. So we search on that. I'm going to go to list view instead of block so I can see them a little easier. So you might be wondering exactly who is this tool for? Uh, it's for artists who may be needing to name it a character and they want to come up with the anagram. It's really great for creative writers that are writing scripts or stories and want to work on character development. I don't know if you're a game designer too and you don't want to be too blunt about a name. Uh, you can also use an anagram to help encode it. So thanks for tuning in. And